Hi friends, welcome to Alpha Mathematical Institute, Avadi Chennai. Now we will discuss a problem on integral equations. Directly we will move on to the problem. Uh, here is the question. The integral equation phi of x minus 2 divided by pi into integral 0 to pi uh, cos x plus t into phi of t into dt equals to f of x has infinitely many solutions. If first option f of x equals to cos x, second option f of x equals to cos 3x, third option f of x equal to sin x, fourth option f of x equals to sin 3x. Okay, so actually here. Uh, one integral equation is given which is given by this uh, equation phi of x minus 2 divided by pi into integral 0 to pi cos x plus t into phi of t into dt equals to f of x we have to tell for what values of f of x this integral equation will have infinitely many solution ok so let us answer this question right so first I am writing the given integral equation so this is my given integral equation right so this can be rewritten as phi of x minus 2 divided by pi using the form of a cos x plus t I am expanding this so cos x plus t can be written as cos x into cos t minus sin x into sin t into phi of t into dt which is which is equals to f of x so this can be rewritten as uh, phi of x minus 2 divided by pi into cos x into integral 0 to phi um, cos t into phi of t into dt plus 2 divided divided by pi into sin x into integral 0 to pi sin t into phi of t into dt equals to f of x integration with respect to t here here also with respect to t so uh, those term doesn't contain t we may take outside uh, that's why here cos x i have taken outside here sin x i have taken outside so this can be written as phi of x minus 2 divided by pi into cos cos x into c1 plus 2 divided by pi into sin x into c2 equals to pi of x where c1 equals to integral 0 to pi cos t into phi of t into dt and then c2 equals to integral 0 to phi sin t into phi of t into dt limits of these integrals are constant therefore if i integrate this function cos t into phi of t uh, within this uh, constant limits we will get one constant that is why we, we we call this integral as sum c1 and c2 respectively therefore phi of x can be rewritten as phi of x equals to f of x plus 2 divided by pi into cos x into c1 minus 2 divided by pi into sin x into uh, c2 call this equation as equation number 1 right where c1 equals to this one and then c2 equals to this one i want to calculate what is c1 and c2 now use this first equation in c1 i will get c1 integral c1 equals to uh, integral 0 to pi cos t into here phi of t instead of of, uh, x we have to replace t in phi of x so phi of t plus 2 divided by pi into cos t into c1 minus 2 divided by pi into sin t into t c2 into uh, dt okay so this can be rewritten as uh, cos t integral 0 to pi cos t into f of t into dt plus 2 divided by pi times c1 into this uh, cos t and then this cos t I have to multiply so I will get uh, 0 to pi cos square t into dt uh, 2 c2 minus 2 c2 divided by pi into integral 0 to pi cos t into sin t into uh, dt so next I have to integrate this uh, cos square t within the limit 0 to pi 
ओके सो इफ ई डू दिस इंटग्रेशन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटग्रल इंटग्रल जीरो टू पै का स्क्वेर टी इंटू डी टी इज नथिंग बट पै बै टू अंड देन इफ ई डू दिस इंटग्रेशन इंटग्रल जीरो टू पै का इंटू सैन टी इंटू डी टी दिस इंटग्रल वैल्यू इज जीरो ओके इंटग्रल जीरो टू पै का इंटू सैन टी इंटू डी टी This integral value is zero. So by substituting here, I will get uh, c1 is equals to integral zero to pi cos t into f of t into dt plus two divided by pi. Times c1 into this integral value is nothing but pi by 2. This integral value is nothing but zero. Okay, so next I am writing this as beta 1 plus uh, plus c1 minus zero times c2, where beta 1 equals to integral zero to pi uh, cos t into f of t into dt. Okay, so from this I will get in the left hand side I am having c1. Okay. Left hand side I am having C1. Uh, right hand side also I am having C1 minus 0 times C2. Okay, just you bring this minus 0 times C2 into this side, you will get this equation 0 times C1 plus 0 times C2 equals to beta 1. This is linear equation in C1 and C2. Let us calculate uh, uh, next C2. Right. Uh, let us calculate what is C2 now. Right. Already we know C2 is nothing but uh, this expression. C2 equals to integral 0 to pi sin t into phi of t into dt. Instead of phi of t, I am substituting this one. F of t plus 2 divided by pi into cos t times uh, C1 minus 2 divided by pi into sin t times C2 into dt okay so this can be rewritten like this uh, rewritten like this sin t integral 0 to pi sin t into f of t into dt plus 2 divided by pi times c1 integral 0 to pi cos t into sin t into dt uh, minus integral minus uh, 2 divided by pi c2 times uh, integral 0 to pi sin square t into dt okay so this can be rewritten like this uh, beta 2 so i call this integral as beta 2 uh, if i integrate this function uh, sin t into dt within the limit 0 to pi i'll get 0 right so if i integrate the function uh, sin square t uh, within the limit 0 to pi i'll get the answer pi by 2 so i will get c2 equals to beta 2 plus 2 divided by pi times c1 into 0 minus 2 divided by pi times c2 into integral 0 to pi sin square t dt value is pi by 2 i am substituting here okay so finally i will get this uh, c2 equals to beta 2 plus 0 times c1 minus 2 minus c2 okay so this equation can be rewritten as uh, 0 times c1 plus 2 c2 equals to beta 2 0 times c1 plus 2 c2 equals to beta 2 call this as equation number 3 now consider the system of equations 2 and 3 so first equation is nothing but 0 times g 0 times c1 plus 0 times c2 equals to beta 1 second equation 0 times c1 plus 2 times c2 equals to beta 2 write the matrix form of uh, the system of linear equation it is of the form ax equals to b where a is the coefficient matrix 0 0 uh, 0 2 and then x is c1 c2 column vector and then beta is uh, b is beta 1 beta 2 this is also a column vector we know this system ax equals to b have unique solution if rank of a is equals to rank of b 
rank of a comma b this is augmented matrix which is equals to to the number of unknowns uh, and has infinitely many solution if rank of a equals to rank of b which is less than 2 that is the number of unknowns no solution if rank of a is not equals to rank of a comma b now let us calculate what is rank of a comma b okay so let us write rank of uh, let us write the matrix augmented matrix a comma b so a comma b is nothing but this matrix first row 0 0 beta 1 second row 0 0 beta 2 okay so right uh, clearly from this we will get rank of a1 e a equals to 1 right so to get infinitely many solution we must have rank of a is equals to rank of a comma b is equals to 1 okay so to get rank of a comma b equals to 1 we must have beta 1 not equals to uh, 0 beta 2 may take any value no problem uh, because this quantity not equals to zero okay then uh, rank of uh, a comma b this this beta 1 equals to 0 means rank of a comma b and rank of a are equal which is equals to 1 then the system has infinitely many solution uh, no care about this uh, beta 2 because this entry is non zero entry okay so our aim is uh, uh, for what values we have to uh, consider the function f of x uh, to which beta 1 vanishes is the correct answer to this question okay um, right so let us look let us consider the first option so in the first option it is given uh, f of t equals to cos x okay so if i take f of t uh, if i take f of x equals to cos x and then if i calculate beta 1 so this is nothing but integral 0 to pi cos t into f of t into dt so this place f of t cos t into f of t into uh, dt so uh, this is integral 0 to pi cos square t into dt this is pi by 2 which is not equals to 0 therefore option 1 is a wrong option that is beta 1 not equals to 0 so in this case rank of a is 1 but rank of a comma b is equals to 2 which is not equals to rank of a the system has no solution so first option is wrong option uh, suppose f of x equals to cos x means the system has no solution right now let us uh, uh, look the second option so in the second option it is given f of x equals to cos 3x so let us calculate beta 1 so beta 1 equals to integral 0 to uh, pi uh, cos t into f of t into dt instead of f of t i am substituting cos 3t right so integral 0 to pi cos t into cos 3t if you calculate this integral value it will become 0 therefore the second option is also correct option and then third option if i take f of x equals to sin x and then beta 1 equals to integral 0 to pi cos t into sin t uh, this integral is also 0 therefore option 3 is also correct and then fourth option if i take f of x equals to sin 3x compute this integral value beta 1 will get 0 therefore fourth option is also correct option okay so for this question the correct options are uh, second option is also uh, second option is a correct option and then third option correct option fourth option also correct option first option the system will have no solution okay so for this type of videos please subscribe to alpha mathematical institute